Hey guys, so welcome to my first ever weekly reading vlog. My cat's rubbing his face against a tripod. Let's hope it doesn't fall. If you're wondering what these are, these are runes from Halloween, so I don't feel like taking them off. So for now, I'm all tatted up. But I thought I'd start re weekly reading vlogs because you guys actually requested them and I really enjoy watching other people. So I thought, you know what, why not? So it's November 1st. I'm starting this on a Wednesday because I want to start on the first day of November. <laughs> Update, I'm currently reading, if you do not see my TBR video, I'm currently listening to the audiobook for The Drawing of Three. I think I'm about two and a half hours in and there's, I think I have like 10 hours left. I don't know. Um, so if I'm doing anything <laughs> that requires me to listen, like that I can listen to an audiobook while I do it, then I'll do that. But I don't know how much of the audiobook I'll get done today. And then I'm also reading The Child Finder by Renee Denfeld. So I'm, I read some last night as well. So I'm about, 146 pages in so I really hope to finish this one today I think it's pretty doable it's 120 pages but we'll kind of see how it goes because I want to clean up around my room and I need to prep some videos do some planning for November that I haven't like I planned some stuff but I want to do the rest of my planning for November and I might have to film today as well just to get more videos on the roll on track hey guys so it is much later in the day he always just shows up. Um, it's about 7 p.m. and I wanted to update you guys that I did finish The Child Finder by Renee Denfeld. I'm still thinking about all my thoughts. Like as you can see, there's a lot of tabs in it because the writing is very beautiful and whimsical. And like, I feel like this is a story that's gonna stick with me. And the ending made up for, like the, the last part made up for a lot of it. But then again, it deals with, um, similar to Lolita, like pedophilia at one point as well. Um, so that's there. And there's also a relationship between um, two people that were foster siblings. So I think that might be controversial for some people. I don't know, they weren't related, but I could see how some people will be, take that the wrong way or just find it disturbing. So same with the pedophilia, obviously, but yeah, I'm still gonna think about this one a lot. I think I, I think it's around a 3.5, but I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure. I can see why this would be like a five-star read for people and why this would, like why this could be like a lower rating for people as well. Um, so yeah, I finished this. I'll let you guys know my official rating probably tomorrow. But I also got book mail today. So in the mail, I didn't, I forgot I ordered this, but I got An Order to Live by Yanomi Park. I hope is how you say it. Um, this is about a um, Korean woman who is escaping North Korea with her family and it's her story. Um, and obviously if you watch the news or um, are just online, you know how bad North Korea is. So this is her story. So I'm really interested to read this and kind of see um, someone who actually experienced it and their experiences. Wow, I said that a lot. Okay. I've heard great things about this and it's not fiction November. So maybe I'll slide this into my TBR at one point. I don't know. Um, so I got it from Book Depository. I literally forgot I ordered it. And it also came with like a cute little bookmark and like the designer is from Malaysia and it has all these like types of buildings on it. I thought that was kind of cool. So yeah. Currently sitting at my desk area, but last, I haven't read anything today cause I was really not feeling well today and I'm about to go to physio, but yesterday last night i finished two books after the trout finder so i ended up reading entwined by kara beatrice which i was sent for review um i really didn't end up enjoying it a lot of the poems were really cliche i found i found it was nothing new to the table there was only a few that i liked and the poems were really short which typically i like short poems but in this circumstance it was like like a few lines but they were like basic lines that I've heard before unfortunately and like if you've read a lot of poetry or you've been on tumblr it's basically that and basic analogies basic lines that sort of thing so I wasn't a big fan I gave it two stars unfortunately which I was really hoping I'd like this and then after that I read another book that I thought I would love and I didn't and that is 10 count so this one my friend loves and this one it's a male male romance didn't like this one at all um, I was just there for the romance and I knew in this book it wasn't, there was nothing really, it was just angst so there wasn't any, you know, stuff happening. But basically I really didn't like this. I thought in terms of the illustrations for the panels, it literally like 
it felt like they literally took panels out that should have been kept in. So like, it would show a scene, but it was like panels were missing. That's how I felt. Like the story was so scattered. It felt like some things were just missing. And I'm like, wait, this happened. This person fell. Like it didn't show everything. So I'm like, what is happening? And then I also found like I had no connection with the characters or the plot or I wanted to continue. And then the most, the thing that pissed me off the most was the, I forgot that deals with OCD. I remember my friend mentioning it, but the thing that really bothers me about this, and I know some people might disagree or I don't know, but this pissed me off so much, but 10 count, basically there's this guy, right? And he um, is an obsessive hand washer and he wears gloves because his hands are all, uh, you know, raw from washing his hands all the time. And he wears gloves. And so this random guy goes up to him and is like, you're germaphobic, you should see a psychologist. And this guy goes, oh, okay. And he goes, I'm a psychologist, here's the office. And I'm like, okay. Um, and he basically gives him 10 things to do. So like, touch a door handle without washing your hands, do this, do this, and then he says, and literally I quote, after you do these 10 things, you will be completely cured. I just think that's so unrealistic that if you follow a few steps, you're gonna be completely cured. And I'm not saying these steps were easy, but I'm saying it's just not realistic, especially for people who don't know too much about OCD or mental illness, which I'm not a professional, but obviously I'm not a professional, but from what I've learned and from like experiences of my own, it's not that easy at all and it's not 10 simple steps and you're completely cured like mental illness is something you fight for your whole life and that really bothered me that people are gonna read this and think oh you know OCD is just about hand washing and like you know that hot guy approaches me on the street and so then you see a psychologist and I'm gonna go and 10 steps and I'm done and then I get this nice man which is so unrealistic I hated it <laughs> I give it two stars though. I might boost that down. I think it deserves less, but I'll leave it as two for now, I guess. So I've already read three books this month and today I haven't read anything. I'm the movie for, what is it? Murder on the Orient Express comes out on the 10th. So I still have a little bit to read that, but I renewed my Drawing of Three audiobooks. So I'm waiting for that to come back in. And then I think I'm going to start without Merit or Into the Wild today. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. I'm feeling kind of shitty today. So yeah. And if you've never been here, this is my desk. Fun. Oh, I love Redbubble. <laughs> like that's the, it's that site that booktubers have gotten sponsored by and stuff, but Redbubble is actually so cool. And they have these awesome stickers and I die. And like my friend, um, what's her name? Olivia. She's such a dear. And she makes her own stickers on there. So I got this one from her and it's so pretty. It reminds me of like Aquatar. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, later. Saturday now and I'm sorry I didn't update you yesterday, but I did start Without Merit by Colleen Hoover, which is entertaining and the only problematic things that I've noticed so far for the record I am 145 pages in right now um yeah we'll finish this probably before Monday so either today or tomorrow I hope to finish it but I'm not really in a rush I've read quite a bit this week that I'm pretty happy with so yeah but the only thing that I've noticed is just like the way that she meets the love interest and I think that's going to be the love interest it's just in a creepy way which is in all her books anyways so nothing new. <laughs> hey guys, so it is Sunday now. Um, excuse the appearance. Um, it's currently 8.30. Um, so last night I finished Without Merit. And you know how I said that the first 150 pages weren't too bad? Yeah, it just dropped after that. So I don't know how she can go from writing It Ends With Us, which wasn't a five-star read for me, but I appreciated like the rep in that. And I know so many people love that book. And like, I agree with a lot of those aspects as well to then writing this, um, which don't get me wrong. I've liked many of Colleen Hoover's books, but I haven't liked some of her books as well, but I'll continue to read her books just for the pure fact that I've loved some of her other work. 
but without merit, let's just say I'm nervous to pick up her next book when it's released. Um, I gave it one star, uh, maybe 1.5 or two, but wasn't good. I just made a whole ranty um, Goodreads review on it. So I'll have that link down below if you're interested. And I might make a YouTube review. Let me know if you would want to see it or if you would watch it. Um, but yeah, not my favorite at all. So I'm actually going to be ending the vlog here. So let me close that. <laughs> so basically, I think I'm going to be ending the vlog here. So I vlogged from the 1st to the 5th. Um, I haven't read anything today just because... I have a lot of school stuff to do today, so I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done, and I want to edit this vlog and make sure I get it up and stuff, but I'm hoping to start and then there were not and then there were none. <laughs> I read that. Um, Murder on the Orient Express um, tonight or tomorrow and finish it by Friday, so I think I'll vlog this coming week, but we will see. Let me know if you guys like this vlog though, but for a wrap-up of my reading this past week, and I'll talk about these more in my wrap-up, and if you guys want to see individual reviews, let me know. But I read these four, so I finished up The Child Finder by Renee Denfeld, which I gave about a 3.5 out of 5, by Cara Beatrice, which I gave two stars. I read 10 Count, which I gave two stars, which is generous. And then I read Without My Heart, which I gave one star. So definitely an interesting reading week. But oddly enough, I don't feel too badly in a slump. Like I'm a little bummed out that I haven't liked the last three books I've read, but I hope um, Run on the Orient Express doesn't let me down and it's um, a fast read because I don't know, I'm feeling kind of iffy a little bit. So yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Four books. Four books down off my TBR. Like, yes, I never stick to TBRs. <laughs> so this I'm like, yes. Yes. So that's great. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Let me know if you guys like these or not, because if you like them, then I'll make an effort to do more of them. And if you hate them, just let me know. But I kind of like doing little clips throughout this week. So let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll have all the links down below if you want to check me out on other social media platforms. So yeah, I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye! Here in this world.